Hi guys, it's the Real Estate Doc, and I'm going to show you today how to make your cabinets look brand new. Now, every time you turn over new tenants, you realize a lot of times they destroy your cabinets. So instead of spending five, ten thousand dollars for new cabinets, what you're going to do is spend only under a hundred dollars and have your cabinets looking brand new. Here, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Step one is to grab your power drill and remove all cabinet doors. If you don't have a power drill, go and get one. Step two is to label all your cabinet doors with frog tape. Trust me, it's going to save a lot of time when you're putting your cabinet doors back into the right place. Oh, let me mention at this time that I had to go to Home Depot to grab a lot of these items. Here's a list of the items. Let me let that sit there and digest for a second. All right, enough time. Let's move on. You're going to take the simple TSP, mix it with water, and clean all the cabinet drawers and surfaces so they can be clean. I'm putting gloves under. Just because of me being paranoid, you don't really have to do that. Just because of the fumes, I'm going to go ahead and put a mask on. And after you clean it, make sure you go over it with water again. Just to make sure that TSP doesn't stay on there. All right, now that I've wiped everything down with the TSP, now we're gonna start sanding your covers. Couple things I wanna know here is A, when you set up shop somewhere, make sure it's a place you don't mind getting messy. I was ripping out the floors, so I didn't care. Second thing is do not do what I did and use party cups. These red party cups sunk into my cabinets and I had to re-sand them after I painted them. So use something else. Also, don't forget the TSP and sand the bases of your cabinets. All right, let's get back. Oh, by the way, you can notice I didn't use my duct tape. I also want to note that we're actually going to paint the walls and everything. So I didn't want to waste my time doing the duct tape. Now with these cabinets, Again, we're gonna rip out these floors as well when I'm doing renovations. So um, usually we like to put like any type of coat or maybe even a shower curtain, an old shower curtain or something that you want to just cover your floors with. Now with these, you wanna get the edges first. So make sure you get the edges before you begin with the, the big foam roll. The good thing with primer is you don't have to be very specific with how you paint. Again, I'm being a little messy, but with primer, that's okay. And you also want to go with the grain. All right, hey guys, we just primed the cabinets and now we're going to add the actual paint to it. Um, I'm not going to lie, my brother came and helped me because, you know, it's a lot of work. But we're going to start on the doors and we're going to do two double paints of the coat to make sure that it comes out nice and fresh, okay? All right, so next thing you're going to do is try to get all the rust out of these pieces for the hinges. I honestly wanted to buy new hinges, but the issue was they didn't have exactly the type that I wanted. So I used the Loctite, which is a neutralizer, to help break up the rust and clean up the hinges. After that, I grabbed the Rusto Metallic Spray Paint and spray painted those bad boys. And look how nice these hinges are. They actually turned out better than I thought it would be. So before I give you a shot of the semi-finished product, I wanted to paint the picture for you. We were done with the whole cabinets. The only thing left was to put the doorknob on there. But then I walked into this. All right. So I walked into the kitchen and they took all the cabinets out. My contractors had completely ripped the cabinets out. Apparently he wanted to surprise me that he got new cabinets. I was so blown. I mean, at least tell me you're gonna do something as drastic as that before you rip the cabinets out. Um, but I did get a shot of the cabinets. Here it is. But yeah, we saved a lot of money with these these uh, cabinets, so. Yeah, they look good. Thank you. <laughs> they really do look good if you, you know. Yeah. If you can picture everything together. Yeah. It's like the color, it's unique. Yeah. yeah. The fridge will be right here. But the cabinets look great. They look so good, I even painted my coffee table with the remaining paint. As you can see here. I almost 
didn't even show this video, but just because I know I went through the whole process and I know it'll be helpful for you guys, I made sure that um, at least I show you the finished product. If you did like this video, please subscribe, share with friends. So here's kind of a before and after picture of the cabinets. Um, it did look great. Here are the new cabinets. So he did do some new cabinets. They look great. I do love them. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I just wish he had told me before he did it so I could get some shots for you guys. Um, but it's all good. I hope that I got enough information out there um, to show you guys how to do it and save tons of money. If you have any questions or comments, please drop below. And guys, don't forget, please subscribe and share with friends.